Hey everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and we're back today to do a uh, another soap video. This one's going to be scented in an oak moss fragrance. It's supposed to be a men's fragrance, but I'm telling you, I really like it. It's 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 nice. I can't tell you if it smells like oak or it smells like moss, but it smells really nice. So anyway, we're going to do it kind of in a. I'm hoping a black and white. Uh, design. I'm adding just a tiny bit of uh, pumice and walnut shell. And there, my dogs go growling again. Probably at a squirrel. Um, and so anyway, the the fragrance I'm using, the oak moss, it's a little, it's a little dark of a fragrance. So I don't know if my white's going to be really white or not. But anyway, we'll give it a try and we'll see what we got. Um, using my 18 bar mold. Um, it I probably won't fill it all the way to the top, but anyway, should look nice. Um, I'm going to share first uh, just a few pictures. Uh, we just got back from our cruise. For those of you who follow me know, um, we went with my husband's oldest son, his wife, and our granddaughter, Emma. And I want to show you this. This is Emma. Da -da 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 -da. This is our little Emma. She's so cute. Um, they live in, uh, just outside of Montreal. So she's been raised speaking French and I do not speak French. So let me tell you, I have waited six years to have a conversation with this child. And I think she's been holding back on me because this whole cruise, she has been, she spoke English perfectly the whole time. So it was wonderful. We had a great time. Here's a picture uh, we're in uh, Barbados in this one. This is uh, my husband's oldest son, my husband, myself, uh, our daughter-in-law, and there's Emma. And this, just look at that blue water. It's so fantastic. Uh, here's one of my husband and I in Barbados. And this, we went to, we do my bucket list thing, uh, swimming with the dolphins in St. Kitts. So there's my husband. He had a great time. I think he was pleasantly surprised at how much fun he had with the dolphins. And and I'm being pulled through the water by my dolphin in this picture. Oh my God, it was heaven. So bucket list item checked off for me. It was wonderful. And uh, I can't wait to take another vacation uh, with our little Emma. I mean, we had such a good time. My husband's constantly saying now that he missed spending every day with her. It's, it was just great. So, okay, we're going to get on to soaping here. Anyway, we had a great time. I printed those pictures out for my mother. I'm going to mail them to her, but not right away because she is this week moving back to our hometown, not where I live, but on the other side of the country. Uh, she's moving into a retirement center, so she's a little busy this week. I'm going to wait and mail those to her uh, in a few days when I know she's going to be there to get it. So anyway, she's she's doing much better. We got her on some good probiotics, which really seem to help uh, with her issues. And uh, between getting rid of her stress and everything, I think she'll be all right. So um, I'm using um, a good amount of olive oil in this recipe. Uh, also, shea, cocoa butter, coconut oil, some castor oil, but mostly olive oil. Um, so, I have poured off some of my oils just to, I've got the pumice in here, uh, and a little bit of activated charcoal in that one, and the titanium dioxide in that one. I'm going to pour off some of my mixture here. Um, into this pitcher, which I will then color with the activated charcoal, I believe. I kind of went overkill on my pot size because I thought that I was going to have too much to use in my other bowl. So anyway, now I got this huge pot I got to have to wash. Oh, yay. Anyway, that's all right. We will survive. Okay. So we're going to get this blended a bit, and then we're going to pour some off. Put my blender. Feel 
free to fast forward through this. This fragrance oil I haven't used before, so I don't know if it's going to accelerate on me at all or do any funky, weird stuff like ricing or anything. So I won't, I'll probably just leave it at that as far as mixing initially. Okay, so I'm going to pour off a little bit here, hopefully gracefully, and we'll color that black. here. I'm going to scrape the bowl back down a little bit. Get all this back down into the bottom. And I'm going to start out. I'm going to pour all of my hopefully white first. Um, I am going to add a little bit of this to each one. This is my pumice and walnut shell. Uh, mixture. It's. I just wanted it to be mildly abrasive. If you watched my coffee soap video that I did just a little while back, I think I probably put too much in because it turned out to be more than a little mildly abrasive. I mean, I tested it in the bath the other night. I would use it on my feet, and uh, if you have a someone who works with a lot of grease or something. It would probably be really good, like a mechanic soap. But as for an everyday exfoliating bar, the coffee probably is not for you. So if you were thinking about getting it um, for that purpose, I wouldn't. I'm gonna pour my black in there. I'm just gonna kinda add everything. I'm gonna do my black at the end. So we'll pour most of this in there. Kind of going quickly. Pour the rest of my fragrance in there. Boop. And then we'll get to blending again, just to make sure we're good and mixed before we pour. I'll tell you, it smells really good. that one. I'm just going to put this right in there because that will be the last and we'll pour our white in or what I hope will be white. Time will tell. And we'll scrape the bowl out best I can. I said it before, I always feel like I'm crawling deep inside this pot when I have to scrape it. There's that. All right. And then we will blend up our portion with the activated Blendy, blendy, blendy. Come on, baby. Okay, so lay that down, scrape this off, and finish using my spatula just to make sure it's good and mixed on the bottom. I should check and see if I'm still in frame there. So I'm going to hold this up a ways. Let me scrape the sides here. There we go. Not exactly black black and it's not exactly super white, but it should 
It should look good. So we're pouring a pie to get down, whoops, into the soap. Now I'm going to bring myself back down and just kind of go on the top here. And just kind of getting the last of bit out and scrape down my pitcher. Like I said, this does smell really good. And maybe it is a traditional man's men's fragrance, but I'm telling you, I really I really like it. I I would use this soap, I think. So I've made a lovely mess right there. I'll try and get that out. Okay. Put that there. So I'm going to use this same little popsicle stick here and we're just going to kind of we'll kind of go back and forth this way first just to give it a nice swirl on the top and then we'll go back the other way. Looking good. I like the top. And then I'm going to use my dividers. Look at that. It's almost like zebra striping. Isn't it cool? I just love this. You know, I always watch um, like people who bake and do cupcakes and stuff. And, and some of them do really intricate swirls and some and I can't look at anything anymore with a swirl without thinking man that looks like a cool soap so anyway so there's that now I'm, I'm leaving this plain no glitter or anything because it is kind of geared towards the men more even though I'm sure women will love it so we're going to pop this back in Getting our dividers in there, which will drag some of these stripes down the side of the soap as well. So see, now, if you've watched me use this mold before, you've noticed that my soap has come pretty much up almost over the top of these dividers. But I shrunk my recipe down a little bit on this soap so it wouldn't do that. But uh, these are all nice and firm. And down there ways and we're going to just pop our lid on the top but I'm going to bring you in first for a little flyby like I always do so bear with me I'm going to walk around here and whoop, and bring you in close so you can see look at the beautiful stripes are those cool or what look at look at those where it curled at the end. Those are pretty awesome. So, okay. Smells wonderful. I'm going to spritz it down with some alcohol, actually, before I put it under the lid. And we'll come back tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow, maybe the next day, and see how easily this comes out, because I did use a lot of olive oil. I might have to wait two days. But, uh, oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. So I made these basically for Father's Day, but like I said, women might like this as well. So anyway, we'll come back and we'll do, uh, it won't be a cut, it'll be an unmolding. So we'll be back to do that. Okay, we're back and I've already pulled the bars. I was able to pull the bars out of this one. Uh, usually I have to unmold the whole thing and then use a wire to go around and it's a big headache. But this one, they came out pretty easy. So we're going to pop these out and see what the whole bar looks like. I get a towel here. I've got some little seepage on the side of some of these, huh? But look at that. It turned it kind of a yellowy color, which is okay. 
I guess if I maybe if I'd used a little more titanium dioxide, it might have come out a little better. But uh, this is all right. There's still a little, a little damp, a little wet, but that's okay. Anyway, oops. So I can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, there's that one. I won't bore you with the doing all of these, but uh, I, I could have, should have maybe left these in the mold for another day. But anyway, it looks good. And uh, hopefully the gentlemen like this as well. Yeah, I probably should have left this in for one more day just because I used an awful lot of olive oil. Anyway, it smells fantastico. And gosh, I can't can't wait till they're ready to use because you know what? I think I'm gonna use one. So anyway. Yeah, see we're a little a little oily still. Anyway, I'll leave those, I'll let, uh, let those sit for a little bit, and uh, I'll give you a little teaser of what I'm going to be up to next. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, you won't know about this, but if you do follow me, then you've already seen what I've done with this, and uh I got a mold. I got it on Amazon and it's for popsicle soaps. And I already did one batch, but I will do a video on these uh, for an, uh, another batch. I'll show you. Um, I did the first batch in a watermelon and this next batch I'm going to do a video on will be in watermelon lemonade fragrance. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, oh, I have some good news since yesterday when I started this video. Um, we had a showing on our house last Friday. Well, the person who looked at it is coming back for a second look. So, fingers crossed, would be nice to get an offer on our house. And that way we can start really packing for our move to the other side of the border. So, anyway... Uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you haven't already, follow us on Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps and Instagram and and all that jazz. Twitter, we're on Twitter as well. Uh, we do have a shop over on Etsy also. So check us out on those places. So I'll give you the links to those below. And uh, stay tuned for our Popsicle Soaps. Until next time, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Okay, bye for now.